Hey besties, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome! As you all know, ang 2020 natin ay medyo na iba for this year. Dahil tayo ay na lockdown at na quarantine and we were all required to stay at home. So ang tanong, ikaw ba ay naging quarantine or naging quarantine? So in this video, I'm going to share with you 5 tips on how to stay motivated to work out. Kung gusto mong malaman ano itong mga tips na to, please keep on watching. So mga besties, share ko lang sa inyo a little background about my fitness or my workout journey. This year, syempre, na-lockdown tayo. Halos lahat naman tayo nasa bahay. And ako, I started to work out again. And sabi ko, sarili ko na I want to keep healthy and I want to stay healthy. And so, it pushed me para mag-start mag-workout at para gumalaw-galaw naman. Kasi ayoko lang naman mag-Netflix and chill. Ayoko naman na puro kain ng kain, di ba? Yung lamang ng lamang. Gusto ko naman yung maging fit tayo. And na-realize ko na talagang health is well and na-share ko yan sa ibang mga vlogs ko, yung what I eat in a day, and then yung Chloe Ting Challenge, yung fitness, yung workout na ginawa ko with her. And talagang, kailangan talaga nating i-prioritize yung health natin because we only have one body. So ngayon, I'm excited to share with you 5 tips on how to stay motivated to work out. Dahil na-prove ko to at ginawa ko talaga sa sarili ko. So let's start with number 1. Set a realistic short and long-term goal. So, for example, sa akin, yung short-term goal ko is to feel my waist again. Kasi best, nawala talaga siya. Nawala siya kung nasa mapa. Kasi hindi ko na siyang makapa. So, sabi ko sa sarili ko, Beke na nen. Sana na men, ma-feel ko ang waist ko ulit. Pero, wala namang ibang gagawa nung tuli ako. So, sabi ko, okay, short-term goal, ma-feel ang waist. Ang long-term goal ko naman is to be healthy and to stay fit. Kasi nga sabi ko earlier and in my other videos, that health is wealth. And also kung dati hapong-hapo ako or talagang pagod na pagod ako pag umakit ako ng stairs or pag tumatakbo or kahit naglalakad, sabi ko talaga sa sarili ko, kailangan next time makaka-keep up na ako. Ang hirap din talaga na mabilis kang mapagod. So, yun yung goal ko sa sarili ko, yung long term at yung short term goal ko. And also, have a peg. If you look at the mirror and you don't like what you see, then it's about time to change that routine. It's about time to change your lifestyle. And ikaw lang naman makakapagsabi niyan sa sarili mo dahil katawan mo yan. So, kung meron kang peg, like for example, yung peg ko is myself. So, before, nadalo ako sa Binibini Pilipinas and I had this swimsuit body. So, sabi ko, okay, meron akong picture na nasa notebook ko. I look at it every once in a while dahil meron akong publics doon sa abs na yon. So, something to be proud of before. But now, sabi ko, totally different na ngayong panahon because of course, I'm not getting any younger. So, sabi ko, okay, I still want to have that body back. Pero, hindi na talaga um, yung completely yon. But then, it's fine as long as meron akong peg, meron akong binivisualize, at meron akong nilulog forward to. Number two, get a workout buddy. So, a few months back, I did the Chloe Ting Challenge and I asked my good friend siya if she can be my workout buddy. Kasi, totoo lang, kung sa sarili ko lang, eh, medyo tatama rin talaga ako. And then, naisip ko siya, kahit hindi kami magkasama sa video, after our workouts, we would send each other photos. And sobrang nakaka-motivate talaga. Ang merong nagpo-push sa'yo, merong nagsasabi sa'yo na, go mom, kaya mo yan, push pa more. Or pag nakikita ko siya, nagsasend siya sa'kin sa ng photos niya, na pawis na pawis. Na-encourage din ako na mag-workout for that day kasi alam ko na merong nag-check sa'kin. Sa Yun talaga yung marirecommend ko sa inyo na you get a workout ba para talagang you guys push each other and encourage one another. Number three, find a workout that you enjoy. Sorry guys, medyo maulan dito sa amin, so please bear with me. So the key is to move and be proactive. Find something that you enjoy doing. Like ako, I love to dance. And I can just go crazy when I dance. Kasi alam ko na I sweat out, enjoy na enjoy ako, kahit na loka-loka akong magsasayaw dyan. Sa'yo mga ngayon ay ako hanggang dito lang 
pag may mga dance tutorials sa YouTube, talaga enjoy na enjoy ako na sinusundan to. Kasi hindi ako napapagod. Parang wala akong kapaguran. As in, kahit mga 30 to 1 hour na nagsasasayaw ako, okay lang. Kasi hindi ko napapansin yung time. And yun nga, enjoy na enjoy ako. So, the key is to do something that you love. If you love lifting weights, if you love doing yoga, yung puro stretching, yung mga low impact na workout, then go do it. As long as you move, as long as hindi lang kayo nakaupo, hindi lang kayo nakahiga at puro cellphone the whole day. Kasi kailangan talaga ng katawan natin ng gumalaw, na magpawis, and para din niya sa overall well-being natin. Kung ikaw ay someone na nag enjoy ng household chores, maglaba, magplansya, magpugas, go! Gawin mo yan! Kasi talagang gumagalo ka eh. At nakakatulong din yan kahit na nakakapagod siya. Pero kung gusto mo talaga yung ginagawa mo, push mo lang yan, best. Number four, magsuot ng mga cute workout clothes na mamamotivate ka para mag-workout. And also invest in small gym equipments. Yung resistance bands, kettlebell, stability ball, balance board. As long as mamamotivate ka na hawakan ito, buhatin ito. Like ako, pag may schedule ako ng workout, susuotin ko na yung workout clothes ko for the day para reminder siya sa akin na, oh, kailangan mo na workout or, oh, hindi pwedeng matapos ang araw na hindi ka mag-workout, Abby. And lastly, number five, stay consistent. So, kung ikaw ay nagsimula ka na mag-workout or hindi ka pa nagsisimula mag-workout, simulan mo na ngayon. Start before you are ready. Ako, when I went back to working out and doing exercise, pinush ko talaga yung sarili ko. And hindi pa ako ready noon. But I started. Kasi meron akong short-term at long-term goal. So, nakatulong yun para sabihin ko sa sarili ko na go girl, you can do this. Once you start, just be consistent. Because consistency is key. And when you are consistent, you will see your body changing and improving. And you will be excited and happy to be all the more consistent kasi na nasimulan mo na siya. Kesa na puro excuses ka. There may be times wherein you won't feel motivated at all. But once you start, and once you are already consistent, discipline will come in. So, tuloy-tuloy na siya. Bakit? Kasi doon na yung discipline mo, doon na yung it's either gigising ka na maaga, or for the day, mag-workout ka, at everyday na siya, hahanapin ang katawan mo. Kasi nakikita mo yung good results that it brings to your body. So, all in all, working out or exercising is a good way to distress, to feel young, and it gives out happy hormones when you are moving. Sabayan mo na rin ang pagkain ng tama. Choose whole food over processed food. Drink your water every day and eat your fruits and veggies. At matulog ng tama. So there you have it guys. 5 tips on how to stay motivated to work out. Sana may natutunan kayo at nakatulong to sa inyo. Let me know also kung meron kayong mga video suggestions para gawin natin dito sa vlog. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel, and click on the notification bell beside it para updated ka sa mga uploads ko. By the way, kung nagustuhan mo itong t-shirt na to, ginawa to ng good friend ko na si Pauline. If you want to order, you can just follow her in Instagram at shirtsbytala. Ilalagay ko yung description down below. And also, for every sale of this shirt, part of the proceeds will go to my outreach group, Pink Women on Fire, wherein we help underprivileged children in different parts of the Philippines. So I hope that we can all help them together. Thanks for watching, guys. Always remember that you are beautiful, you matter, and you're a blessing. I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!